A 15-year-old boy is shot in the hallway of his junior high school in Pine Bluff. The accused shooter, another 15-year-old student, is behind bars. THP 11's Jay Jackson heard from some of the kids themselves as students came filing out of their classrooms for early dismissal. Jade, what is the very latest? Well, Pine Buff police say that multiple shots were fired inside Watson Chapel Junior High School around 10 a.m. this morning. Now, police did confirm with me just a short while ago that the young man who was hit remains in the hospital at this hour. I was here around noon when students were being dismissed early, getting picked up by parents and guardians, still shocked by what they saw. I was traumatized, had a panic attack, just took off. I have kids at Watson Chapel School, and it's a shame what happened today because you just send your kids to school to get an education and you come out to get a phone call that has been the shooting at the, ski, at the school. Somebody got shot, somebody got shot. And then they looked down the hallway, somebody was shot, blood was on the floor, and people was just there, just crying, sad, just not knowing what to do. With his parents' permission, 13-year-old Nashawn told THV 11, what he saw happened inside Watson Chapel Junior High. Just before 10 o'clock Monday morning, a male student shot another male student in the hallway. I was walking from class, like my second period class, down from the eighth grade hallway. And I seen somebody get shot, just standing right there with the gun, just got shot, laying down on the ground, blood flowing. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. So I just took off running down the hallway and said somebody got shot. The school says it quickly followed active shooter protocol and the campus went into lockdown. Suspect was located in, a, uh, in, in the neighborhood, um, a street in the neighborhood of Watson Chapel, uh, hiding behind a house. He was located by the Arkansas Department of Corrections dog team. The shooter is a 15-year-old student at Watson Chapel who was now in custody. When the lockdown was lifted, the school went into early dismissal allowing frantic parents to pick up their kids. I feel a whole lot better, but it's still didn't nobody win out the situation. It's a sad situation for a school. Now the prosecution's office will be reviewing the information to determine whether the 15 year old suspect will be tried as an adult or a juvenile. Motive is still unclear, but Pine Bluff police say they believe this was a targeted incident. Reporting live out here in Pine Bluff, Jay Jackson, THV 11 News. Jade, thanks so much. They are still working out whether the school will be open again tomorrow, but they are promising to have additional officers on campus as well as chaplains for the students. And we're also following this story tonight for our 10 o'clock news, where we're going to talk to the superintendent about today's shooting and what is next for the campus.